You're going to be on TMZ. <laughs> I won't be the first time or really? the last. Aloha, folks. Welcome back to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. If you are involved in Tiki, then you are probably somebody who attends estate sales, thrift stores. What else is there? And things like storage auctions. So the reason why I asked this guest on the show is because she has a lot of experience in things like storage auctions. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome to the show Miss Brandy Passante from Storage Wars. Hi, Brandy. You're Brandy. I'm Brandy. I know it's so weird. It's weird. Think, <laughs> I didn't think Brandy from Storage Wars would be on the show. I didn't either. She's she's like, how did it's I like end up? It's like a funny chance happening, but um, I actually this would probably one of my favorite shows that I've come on because. Uh -oh. He just gives you lots of booze before, you know, we even like get on camera. So get you all liquored up. I'm already like, I have trouble with filtering. So this is gonna be great. Yeah, we already had a breezeway cocktail and a daiquiri. And now we're gonna make a cocktail from a place called the Willows in Hawaii. Ooh, it's called the Aloha Cup. But before we get into that, I'm so curious about storage wars. What are you curious about? Oh, you were telling me earlier that Storage Wars at one point got bigger numbers than the Super Bowl. We had Super Bowl ratings. We were the highest rated show on Annie ever. So I'd um, imagine that you recognized a lot. It was uh, overwhelming. I really? had to have therapy. Like I, oh, I really? Yeah, because I didn't seek it out. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, uh, and I didn't have any idea that it would actually go somewhere, uh -huh. especially to where it went. Um, so it was immediately scary and overwhelming right away. When especially you were like the like the hot chick on the show. I mean, <laughs> I don't know about that, but <laughs> um, maybe I don't know. Did you have to audition for the show, or? It's a funny story. I mean, they they were doing like a sizzle reel. They came oh, okay. to an auction. Mm -hmm. Uh, they ran into my significant other at the time and I uh, asked if he would do a couple of minutes on camera. Liked him, came to my shop and I was there and they were like, wait, 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 hold on. Would she be willing to I see. talk um, on camera and maybe do this? How many seasons has it been? 14. 14 seasons. 14 seasons. That's amazing. I've been doing this since, since 2009. Wow. Yeah. And. Um, I've been shocked at your knowledge of tiki since you've been here. Um, well, I just like to drink a lot, and um, I think all this is like really cute. Um, yeah. But I also like mixology. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor compositions and all the different. You know, I, I I love it. I'm allergic to coconut. Oh. Which is really f***ed up, which makes it difficult. That's They're right. still no. always phenomenal either way. No coconut in this one. We're going to be using a cocktail from this book. The official handbook, Drinks of Hawaii. That is fantastic. Yeah, I think it's from 1970. Where did you find this? Do you remember? Yeah, eBay. <laughs> no. Like, such a letdown, I know. It was in a storage locker that I bought. Oh, it's so uh, funny. 1971, but there's a cocktail in here called the Aloha Cup, and it's from a place called the Willows. What island is it on? <laughs> Oahu. Really? I didn't know anything about the Willows, but I did a little bit that's really hard to say. He didn't know anything about the willows, but he did a little bit of research. Oh. And it is on Oahu. And um, wait, wait, what else? <laughs> 1944. 1944. It yeah. was uh, established. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we almost lost it recently, like within the last couple of years. They were going to parcel it out to 12 parcels and turn it into like apartments or condos. That big? Yeah, there's like lakes and like canoes and. This is a tiki bar with lakes and. That's insane. Well, this is like an original Hawaiian bar restaurant. That's so, so I guess it is cool. a tiki bar. I want to go there. I know. Let's go. We'll bring, we'll bring Cliff. I know. Yeah. Her boy. I know her boyfriend. That's why she's here. That's why I'm here. I know. What a letdown. They, everybody was like, wow, you, you really have a great booking agent now. <laughs> Let's read what it says about the Willows. Okay, the Willows, truly the epitome of gracious old Hawaiian charm. It's just across. Oh, no. What, how do I say that? It's just across just the across the Ala Way, less than five minutes away from the hustle and bustle of beautiful downtown Waikiki. Both luncheon and dinner menus of this family restaurant are extensive. Highlights and their marvelous curry accompanied by an exciting array of condiments and delectable homemade pies. The Willow's contribution to our collection is a little bit of scoury guaranteed to give one of the Aloha spirit. I think this says sorcery. Sorcery. I know. Sky, I was like, is cool. Hey, oh, I missed one. Okay. But like, also, I'm trying to read it from this side. But also the exciting array of condiments. I know. Hey, I 
love condiments. <laughs> if you ask Clifford, like there is no room for anything else in my refrigerator because it is full of hot sauce and random condiments. Relish. Mustards. No, I don't know. I don't relish. Mm. Lots of pickles. There's a lot of pickles in there. All right. Olive stuff for cocktails, yeah. So for this cocktail, we will be using pineapple juice, sweet and sour syrup, or jot syrup, and light rum. We're going to be using the Plantation Three Star. Three Star? Three Star. Three Star. From Jamaica, Barbados, and Trinidad. All right. From everywhere. Pineapple juice, how much? One and a half ounces of pineapple juice per cocktail. Mm, so we need okay. three ounces. Oops, Can you it. do it here for the camera? Okay, so. I don't know if you know anything about show business. Mm, no. No. Not a damn thing. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Pineapple juice. Okay, one more. And then one oh. more. Wait, it's got to be right there. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Right here. Perfect. We needed to um, work on our blocking before we did this. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, you know, mostly. Except not she doesn't know not how to that. <laughs> and then sweet and sour syrup. Do you know what sweet and sour syrup is? Um, lemon and mm -hmm. simple syrup. Uh-huh. And what else? And uh, lime. Ooh. Yeah, totally right. I know. Okay, wait, how much do we need here? <laughs> I know. Two ounces of that per cocktail. Okay, so we need four. Uh, yes, but we'll do two. Yes, obviously, because there's only two in here. And then another two, right? Right. <laughs> Look at us counting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and reading scorcery. <laughs> scorcery. <laughs> I'm going to get a shirt that says that. <laughs> okay, sweet and sour done. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you think you could wear like a Spike's Breezeway cocktail hour shirt on the Storage Wars show? If you sign a release, they'll, they'll be down for it. They used to get mad at us for doing stuff like that. They said, this is not NASCAR. Oh, <laughs> my God. Stop All trying right. to wear labels. Half an ounce of orgeat per cocktail, so one ounce of orgeat. <laughs> I love this stuff. Yeah. Fan. What does orgeat smell like? What does that orgeat smell like? Hmm. Uh, like amaretto almost, like oh. slightly, with a um, slight. There are almonds in there. Yeah, mm. yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, All right. Mm -hmm. One ounce, right? Yes. Okay. Ooh. Puppy just <laughs> ran by. Under. I know, yeah, what that was, what was that? I don't know. Uh, luckily it was just a puppy and not some kind of. Creature? Critter. Yeah. Wait, 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 I'm from Texas, we call them critters. One and a half ounces of light rum per cocktail. So we need three, ooh. Hey, Brandy from Storage Wars. What do you think about corks? Um, I am a fan. The only issue is sometimes when it gets too hot, these mm. expand mm. and then all of this kind of like gassiness kind of goes up and what they call corked, it, this all kind of starts to come apart and then it kind of bitters the booze a little bit unless you keep it in the correct temperature. So you wanna make sure if you have a corked alcohol, you wanna make sure that you keep it at a nice temperature, like room temperature or, you know, like maybe in like a cave of some sort. A cave. <laughs> Wine cellar, if you will. Like <laughs> nothing too moist. I can hate that word, but like, you know, nothing of that nature or nothing too hot. Where know? am I like, going to find like, a cave to well, store my alcohol put it, in? Put it in your pantry. I don't oh. know. That's what I'm saying. Oh. You know? Okay. So how much? <laughs> Three ounces, please. <laughs> Two and then one. That was by Two far the best time. answer I have heard to what do you think about corks? It's like a running thing on the show. Oh, you ask that. Yeah. I've had uh, models get furious with me. They're like, what do you mean? That's the dumbest thing anybody's ever asked me. Really? Yeah. Oh no, I like booze. So, me too. I'm a fan. Yeah, all right. <laughs> but I also like, again, like I said, I like mixing flavors and mm -hmm. I like the whole art of it, I guess. You know? And that's my favorite ice in the whole wide world, Yeah. by the way. Oh. They have little ice machines that make this ice mm -hmm. on what like Amazon and stuff like that. You should just like purchase, I should get one. I don't know why I don't have one. I'm actually really upset that I don't have one. In fact, you can use the link below and it'll help support the Breezeway Cocktail Hour. Oh, look at that. Affiliate links. <laughs> I just helped you, like, you know, fulfill your uh, links. Yeah, we're gonna uh, be rich, Brandy. <laughs> we're gonna be rich. Can you, uh, can you mix that, please? Oh, look at this little contraption. <laughs> okay, how do I do this? Okay, so just, uh, you wanna bring that milkshake, right? up there? My milkshake brings all the boys to the okay, yard. Okay, and then with that other hand, put it up there. With what? Yeah, wait, there. This? Just just to hold it down, yeah. And okay. then, there you go. And away we go. And away we go. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a, yeah. Oh, That's oh. good right there. Yep, no, what, what? I can't, I can't stop it. <laughs> yeah. 
That was good. Uh, that's one more. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> All right. There you go. So, mm -hmm. the Aloha Cup from the Willows. From the Willows, which sounds really amazing. And I actually just really want to go there now. Did you ever see Willow? That's a great movie with the Daikini babies and Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Did you watch that documentary? I know. Heavy. Oh my god, I cried. Like I was so sad. He was he very a little eccentric, sexy. but um, but he was very talented mm. and seems like a charming, lovely human being. Do you know Val Kilmer? No. But you're like Hollywood. No. Oh. I'm like the, like the D list. <laughs> I'm like whatever. The D list is the fun list. Is it? Maybe. Why? Because they put out or because they're just like low self-esteem. Because they'll never achieve <laughs> that yeah. kind of Super uncomfortable fame. fame. You didn't want to yeah. go to the Met Gala? I mean, I really or... like want to wear one of those cool dresses. I do like clothes. But um, I don't want to go on like a weird starvation diet. Mm. Um, I really like food. What do you think of um, uh, the Kardashian chick wearing the, the Marilyn Monroe? Did she get that dress? I'm literally so upset. That was the big controversy, like the diet that she went on to fit in that. Mm -hmm. And I've always heard this rumor that Marilyn Monroe was like a size 14, which I, I call bull because, you know, mm -hmm. absolutely not. I think somebody spread that rumor just to make, you know, overweight um, women feel better. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand why that transpired in the first place. But this mother had to go on a diet where she wore a sweatsuit, like, no, like a sauna suit twice a day ate no sugar and no carbs, was on a very restricted vegetable and light protein diet for quite some time I, and like ran I, on the treadmill. I mean, like, was just yeah. constantly just torturing herself just but to, to wear, fit into that dress. But to wear Marilyn's dress. But how the f*** did she even get that. that dress in the first place? I don't uh, care how much money or last you, name's Kardashian. You, how much money you have mm. or, like, you know, who you slept with on camera in order to get, um, but anyway. I'm just, I'm just really fascinated. Like, how did she get that dress? Was that for more sale? Ice. Did she purchase it? You're no. just going to get ice? Yeah, you should get some more ice. <laughs> ah, I guess I just pissed off the Kardashians. I don't know, because they're going to see this show. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Do the Kardashians watch your show? Yeah, they're huge. <laughs> they're totally uh, okay, we're all I don't know. Done. I'm just really, I mean, I feel like I fit in that dress better because, like, my boobs and butt are actually like my own. Mm. I grew them. We're still going on about this, huh? <laughs> Myself. I don't know how she got that dress. I don't know. Who owned it? it? Like, it should be in, like, some kind of museum or some shit, right? Yeah, like, I don't think why any. Why the f is Kim Kardashian wearing her dress. I also don't think that something that old and that historical should be worn by anybody. Exactly. 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 She's gonna get all her bodily sweat on it because she wore a sauna suit to put it on in the first place. Bodily sweat? Well, no, hold on. Oh, sorry, I'm so excited. I know. Uh -oh. We have to garnish it. It says blend all the ingredients and serve in a 15 ounce snifter. Mm -hmm. Snifter. Mm -hmm. Garnish with a pineapple wedge and a sprig of mint leaves. Uh, I found mint in the backyard. Do you have a mint? Do you know how to do the thing? It smells delightful. Would you pop it? Yeah, you gotta like smack the mint. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Ow. No, you peel the leaves off and you smack them in your hand. No. no. Yeah. Brandy, don't you dare pick that lint, that leave mint. Mint leave. Oh. Leave mint. Uh, no, you yeah. just do this. That's oh, what you're, you're supposed squishing to do. it. I know, but that's what you're supposed to do. It gets it. Look at it. <laughs> Aw, it's so, so pretty. Yeah, it's great. Except yours is all squished now. No, it looks great. Okay. You'd be nice to my mint. Okay, yeah, maybe like we'll just that. take this and Ooh, like a... Like that. Cute. Yeah, I like that. Oh, okay. here's your straw. Mm -hmm. Nice straw. There we go. And so from the Willows in Waikiki, this is the Aloha Cup. Aloha. Aloha, Brandy. Aloha. From Storage Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. Wow. So at first you get kind of a burst of pineapple, and then the uh, the sweet and sour mm. willows its way right up into your taste sensations. Mm -hmm. You get that little... <laughs> mm -hmm. Burst of, well, oh, it says ovens on the thing. I, you know, I, you know, obviously it's delicious. That's a good cocktail. It is really, really, Yummy. Would you order it? Probably that? like twelve thousand calories in that, but I like it a lot. I don't think so. A lot There's, of sugar. Okay, the sugar so in the rum. Sugar, 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 sugar. Oh, you count sugar in the pineapple? Jeez. Obviously. Uh, yeah, obviously. Yes, and and sweet and sour. Obviously mm. sweet, sugar. Um, 
pineapple, sugar. Yeah, no, lots of sugar, but delightful. Very delightful. They, they, this little, like, this little hint of mint at the mm -hmm. end makes it so mm -hmm. refreshing. Would you order this at a restaurant? Absolutely. What is the idea behind Storage Wars? If you haven't seen Storage Wars yeah. in the last, you know. 14 years. You know, whatever. Yeah. It's it's fine. I don't know how much to do there. I get it. No, I'm kidding. Um, but no, seriously. Have you been on The Tonight Show? <laughs> no. Um, what a rip off. I know, it's bullshit. Yeah, because you know, Jay Leno has a show that is made by my production oh, company. Oh, his car show. Mm-hmm. Mm. I want to go on that because, you know, it's just want to meet all of the people that have the cool cars and ask them. Do you think you can get Jay Leno to my, to my show? Probably not. No. I don't even know Jay Leno. No, me, me neither. He sat on my truck once. What? Seriously? Mm hmm you saw him do that, but you knew that you spoke to him? Yeah, we're not, we don't like hang out. And you don't know him? We don't go to coffee together. Put his ass cheeks on the seat Ugh. of your... Well, he, he was wearing denim. Oh, he always wears denim. Okay, <laughs> okay, get on with you. So what is the idea You started behind? it. I know, I did. If you don't pay for your storage unit within 30 days, mm -hmm. it goes to default. They send, they put a lien on it, and then it goes up for auction. And up until the moment that it is sold, you have the option to buy back whatever your debt is. But if you don't, then we are able to purchase the contents. We're not allowed to go in. Mm -hmm. We're not allowed to touch anything. We can look from the outskirts and just make a, an executive decision at that point. And then we bid on it like at any other auction. What is the weirdest thing that you found in a storage locker? You know, I, I you know I get these questions a lot, and I, I have a hard time. Like I think I, in the very beginning, I found these photos of dead people. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's from you know 1800s. Oh, you know, okay. like, right. So yeah. black and white photos of, of dead people. It, I discovered later it was a thing where, um, in order to keep their soul intact, they would um, like set you, put you in your clothes, set you upright. Sometimes they were babies. Like I was just mm. kind of looking. But they would like have a family photo of everyone kind of standing around the dead person, but they were sitting up or, you know, in a kind of position that looked like they may be still alive, but they were, you know, clearly dead. What'd you do with those photos? I threw them away. You th no, you didn't throw wait, those wait, away. Wait, 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 wait. I held on to them for a while. Yeah. And, and I literally was just there at my house because initially I was keeping everything in my garage. And mm -hmm. um, I. You didn't want to sell I, it? Well, I didn't even know what to do with them. And then. Did they? People I, like dead people. I had just begun in this scenario and I didn't really like they were so f***ing weird yeah. they made me so this is one of my biggest mistakes oh. okay I'm gonna have to tell you so not only weirdest thing but also huge f***ing mistake I just I couldn't even sleep in my house above the garage knowing that those were down there because they made me so uncomfortable that the and photos like, of dead people i was like F it, i'm throwing them away yeah and Burn i em. did and i found out much later that those were worth a substantial amount of money these are wow. highly collectible because there's a bunch of weirdos out there that like you know they like to collect pictures of dead people i guess i don't know did they haunt you I, well, not anymore. I threw them in the trash. What's the thing that you found that was the most valuable? It's also kind of interesting. I mean, there mm. there were certain items also that were worth quite a bit of money. I'm more of a bird in the hand kind of person. You know, when mm. these shops, but you have only so much space on your shelves to hold stuff. You gotta turn and you can, you can hold stuff for a certain amount of time. You can hold out for a certain amount of money, but you also have to pay for the space in order to hold on to that. Mm -hmm. And you already paid some money in order to get it in the first place. Yeah. So at some point you gotta just like give shit up. But I think for me, I, there was a safe, it had a lot of pieces of aid, it had a lot of coins, it had a lot of just money. It had a lot of in there. Again, bird in the hand, that's money. That's what I kind of prefer, nine out of 10 storage units have just kind of junk porn uh, or like porn. some kind of device mm. um which is also become like a really standard like oh whatever but mm -hmm. in the beginning we were like Poof. yeah yeah like why would you put this in your storage unit you gotta keep it somewhere i guess there was one like it was like a binder where he had like gone through several different magazines and I say he, I don't know, but you know, and put them in like the little sleeves mm. in the binder. It was like the, like their greatest hits or something. I don't know. Oh I, my God. I mean, just so many strange things. It's weird going through other people's 
Well, yeah, I go to a lot of estate sales and like a lot of this stuff. Yeah, you do the same thing, right? Come from estate sales. So yeah. do you ever come across like tiki stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe give me a call next time. Maybe. We'll mm. see. Mm. As long as you like, continue to serve these kind of cocktails, yeah. I will absolutely give you a call next time. It's drinking a lot more than me. It's so good. It is. So when you got here, you mentioned that you'd been to a bunch of tiki bars before. What's your favorite tiki bar? Oh, wow. Locally, mm. I love Stowaway. Mm. It's like Irvine or Tustin. I mean, I like, what Tustin. is it? Tustin, yeah, yeah. Is it Tustin? It's like kind of Rock Jamboree, mm -hmm. but then they, they built this little kind of mall type situation, which is not really a mall. Like, I think it has more bars and restaurants than, yeah. you know, it's like a gym or just whatever, but, um, and a movie theater, right? <laughs> but they have this little tiki bar and they are, kind of amazing. I mean, yeah, great cocktails. They, they're not just great cocktails. I think everybody that works there is a phenomenal human being. Mm -hmm. There's like a, there's one bartender in particular that I will sit there with her and she will talk to me about every single rum. Like she will explain each one to me. And when I walked in today, I saw that he had Dr. Bird and was making a cocktail with that. This is a hundred proof. This is a gnarly ass rum. And it's I so was good. just kind of, it's its delightful, mm. but I was just kind of fascinated that he even had that because I think a lot of people don't know about this one. Um, but I learned a lot from her. This Diplomatico, you make like a, um, like a dipl like an old, a rum old fashioned with this Ooh. because it's more like a whiskey um, like, type composition. The new Brandy from Storage Wars was like Tiki Chick. You know. Yeah. So that's your favorite, is Stowaway? I've been to a lot of kind of super cool ones, but I mean, locally, that mm -hmm. is my favorite. They have these french fries, they're like f***ing ridiculous. They're like Kahlua pork with oh. like some gravy, and I mean, it's almost like a poutine, but like not delightful with like an egg on top. Out of control, ridiculous. Super hmm. cool place, super cool bartenders. I love it. You said that you also have a podcast that you do. I do. <laughs> it's called Happening Now with Hammer. It's, you can find it on YouTube. Hammer? Hammer. Hammer. Like. So his name is Hammer. Um, but I met him. I had a situation. Like MC uh, Hammer? No, his oh. he's just German. Oh, just a German. Yeah, his Hammer actual guy. first name is Hammer. Oh, okay. I know, weird. Mm -hmm. Met him at a dive bar called Cassidy's in Newport Beach. Was, oh my god. Yeah. I yeah. spent a lot of time my, at Cassidy's. I, I'm obsessed with Cassidy's. It's kind of actually one of my very favorite bars, except mm -hmm. for um all right, please, and thank Florist. I had a situation where I had to kind of flee my home and I lived at the Lido house for a little over a week. Mm. And Cassidy's is walking distance from there and they have a great f***ing hamburger. It is a dive bar, but it's crazy. Their is Maddie burgers still are there? insane. I didn't know, there's no Maddie. Uh, okay. But um, I do like pretty much know everybody there now. Dennis Rodman bought like the whole bar a round of drinks one time when I was in there, like yeah. 15 years ago. Yeah, he's special. Um, oh. oh. No, it's so funny, it's, it's, such, it's such a dive bar, but mm -hmm. if you sit there, you have no idea. If you sit there on like a Tuesday afternoon, right? Yeah. You have no idea, like you're looking around the bar and it just looks like a bunch of degenerates that are just like drinking at the bar on Tuesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And they're all wearing just like shorts and button up, well, like whatever. Those people have billions of dollars. <laughs> well, it's Newport. Every yeah, Newport single Beach. one, and with that, it's so funny, it's such mm -hmm. a dive bar. I mean, like it there is. is graffiti all over the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, it is it is such a dive bar. They're like, their burgers I've are been, outstanding. I've been thrown out of there before. What? How do you get thrown out of in Cassidy's. You, you throw up in the bathroom. Oh, no. <laughs> but that was like 22 years ago. Oh, well. So it doesn't count. But that's where I met Hammer, and that's how kind of we, we, we've done that. And so what's the podcast about? Um, well, you know, we didn't also want to pigeonhole ourselves into one category. We have done Yeah, that's a horrible idea, pigeonholing yourself into something like. Into one category. I mean, I think that that's one category. <laughs> So, met him there, mm -hmm. chatted it up. He's an older guy, so I'm usually like, get the f away from me. Um, oh. But it, it, he somehow like uh, was interesting, and um, so we started doing the podcast, mm -hmm. and uh, we didn't want to pigeonhole ourselves in one category. Not that that's, there's anything wrong with that. Um, but uh, we do like a Bar Tales one, where we bring like right. owners or 
bartenders from local bars and mm -hmm. we they come in and we just like talk about basically like kind of war stories and it's really funny yeah um and interesting because it's just like local dive bars or we had like captains of industry where we've had the owner of wahoos or the owner oh, right. of yard we house didn't... or the you know what i mean like mm -hmm. we, yeah we bring these guys in and we have you know kind of you might learn something or we have professional athletes we have conversations with those guys and you know we're just kind of all over that we do like a food you know review <laughs> bring some food from local restaurants or uh -huh. whatever i don't know we do all kinds of shit. so where can they find that uh youtube oh. whatever the podcast it's on it's on all podcast publications okay probably youtube is your best we'll link it below thank you i mean it's the least i can do um there was an episode that you filmed at my parents house nah -uh. yeah shut the up mm -hmm. Can you really tell me this? I don't know. Why would I tell you that? Well, I don't now. know. I just think it's assume that we would have a conversation. What? That's the reason for this honest reaction. Except for I hate him up because my boyfriend really likes his show and him. They're friends. Yeah, we're buddies. And I, I hit him up mm -hmm. and he was like, oh, why don't you just like, come on my show, drink some cocktails. And I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. But didn't mention this at all. What happened? You found some artwork in a storage locker, mm -hmm. and then you went to my parents' house in Newport Beach, and <gasps> yeah, and my girlfriend at the time was there with my parents. God, this seems so. How long ago was this? Like twelve years ago. I bumped my head a lot. Um, so no, probably like twelve years ago. Not intentionally, you know. Yeah. So okay, um, that seems vaguely familiar. Yeah. Uh, what uh, kind of artwork? Like cartoons. <gasps> yes. Okay. I'm getting little remnants of this. I've done over 300 so, episodes, you guys. Oh my god, 300 episodes? Oh, over 300, over 300 episodes. We just passed our 100th episode of this show. Cheers. It only took, it only took me two years. That's awesome. It took you 17 years. 17? Uh, not, no. 17 years? <laughs> 2009 is when we started. Yeah, 17 years. Yeah, 17 years. No, it's not 17 years. Oh. Right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, long f time ago, but not 17 years, because mm. um, now you're aging me f up. But I didn't know who went to your parents' house yeah. with your ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Are you friends with your ex-girlfriend? Was she on the show? She's all right. You weren't there? No, I, I was at work. But your ex-girlfriend was there. Yeah, she said yeah. she wanted to meet Brandy and the other guy. Yeah, and we don't, it's like Goldemar, <laughs> we don't. We don't say anything. Okay, okay. Yeah. I think we're done. <laughs> this, this is a good drink. We want to hang out with Cliff. This is delightful. We do want to hang out with Cliff. Yeah. We like Cliff. Look at his cool ass shirt. One other thing. Mm. Brandy from Storage Wars. Can I call you that? <laughs> I guess I am. I guess. I don't if, see why not. If you want to join the Patreon, you can get this adorable little, check it out, enamel <gasps> pin. This is Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. Are you going to pin me? <laughs> no, Cliff's like right there. Um, but if you want to join the Patreon, you get that pin, or you have to be on the show. So be interesting. Like Brandy mm. from Storage Wars. What a lock. <laughs> Brandy, that was super fun. I really appreciate it. It's really fun. Folks, you, you took that thing down. I know, it's thirsty. So if you enjoyed this, folks, please be sure to like, comment, hit the subscribe button if you aren't already, and we will see you in the next Breezeway cocktail episode. With, um... Scorsery. 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 Okay, well, you know, he's gone. So, um, I can't believe I missed Scorsery. So awesome and embarrassing. There's a lot of really fun cocktails in here. I wish I had this book. Maybe I will accidentally, on purpose, put it in my purse. Or whatever. It's because a lot of us who are involved in Tiki. There's a crying puppy. I can hear that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Sparky, can you throw that in the hot tub or something? Not the dog. Rum is not necessarily my friend. It doesn't make me angry. It just makes me um, maybe black out, perhaps. <laughs> Little tidbit. So if you want blackout brandy, you feed her rum. So um, anyway. <laughs> What's going on here? Nothing. I'm gonna get ugly in the face. Rum drunk. Mm, rum drunk. I didn't know anything about the willows, but I did a little, little you didn't win an Emmy? Deadliest Catch has won several Emmys. Storage Wars has never won an Emmy, but... There's less drama. Dan, no, less are seas. you kidding? There's oh, so much drama, yeah, but drama. like Dan, the auctioneer, had an aneurysm and... Oh. Yeah, um, so somehow they managed to film that. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs>
Sparky, stop crying. Ah, he misses me. It's pineapple juice. You've been on TMZ? Quite a What'd bit. What'd you there. do? Affair with Will Smith. Yes, he deserved it, dude. Come on. He deserved the, the affair with you? Yeah, no, I mean, like, you know. <laughs> Come on. Oh my God, okay. Um, Poor guy, somebody gotta take one for the team for that guy, man. Mm. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh he God. got handed a hand. <laughs> he works very hard, he's a very good actor and he's funny and it's sad. And he just gets treated like dog <laughs> Brandy from Storage hey, Wars is just a saying. maniac. I'm just <laughs> oh my God, okay. Let's okay. start with the pineapple juice. Woo! Sorry, it's my shoes. You just have very big shoes follow. on. I do have very big shoes on. Is this supposed to be a wedge? These are rings. Rings. Well, explain them to explain them to him. Grown men who have a very large obsession with My Little Pony. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a documentary. You should watch it. But I also interviewed one on my show. Oh, did you? I found a bunch of My Little Ponies, and I had already heard of the Sperony thing prior to finding them. We need to talk about and your show, too. It was very um, sad. Oh I wanted to make God. fun of him so bad. It was just so f***ed up. Yeah, like, it was just, it was yeah. kind of so weird. I was just like, oh, my God. No, this is a, they, but they're, they have, like, big conventions. Yeah, it's not like a joke. They're not, like, no, joking No, 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 it's not a joke. It's no, not this like is, me. like... It's not like me putting on a My Little Pony For me, outfit. I'm just like, I, I'm just with this guy because I think it's funny and weird, but this is not funny or weird to him. Like, this is his life, okay? He has pictures of My Little Pony all over his mom's basement or wherever the fuck he lives, but I mean, like, um, not, there's no females present because, um, you know, the female um, My Little Ponies exist there more. <laughs> I can't with this anymore. Oh my god, it's so it's so weird. It's so bizarre. But you know, to to us, but to them, this is like serious. This is their life. One moment, please. Like Tiki. Oh. And so from the Willows.